See How We Move, a first book of health and well-being by Scott Ritchie. See How We Move, a first book of health and well-being by Scott Ritchie. Contents, body and mind. Ready to go, just move, you're getting warm, jump in. I can do that, it's playtime. Team huddle, wash up, time to refuel. Body and brain, see it, do it. It's the big day, let's play. Words to know. Body and mind. Tomorrow's a big day for our five friends. Their swim team, the Flying Sharks, is competing in the school meet. They've been preparing for weeks, training their bodies and minds in order to swim their best. Today, Ma Nick's mom is taking everyone to the neighborhood pool for one last practice. Then they will visit the community center for a special surprise. Do you ever think about how your body and mind work together? It's amazing what your body can do if you just put your mind to it. Ready to go. Does everyone have their goggles? Nick's mom asks as they're leaving for the pool. Oh no, Martin realizes he left his goggles at home. They help him to see clearly underwater and he knows he can't swim as well without them. What a relief that Nick has an extra pair he can borrow and they fit too. Using the proper equipment for your sport helps improve your performance and it can also keep you safe. Yuli arrives on her bike wearing her helmet, her red helmet to protect her head. It's sized to fit snugly so that it doesn't slip off if she has a fall. Just move. I like soccer and hockey. I ride my bike everywhere. I skip rope. I do gymnastics and dance. I like to fly a kite and then roll down a hill. Just move. On the way to the pool, the kids talk about sports and games they like to play. They know how important it is to get their bodies moving. Exercise helps your heart, lungs, muscles, and bones stay strong and healthy. It can also improve your mood and boost your energy level. How do you get your body moving? Activities that use your mind as much as your body are lots of fun. When you dance, you have to remember all the steps while moving quickly. That's called thinking on your feet. You're getting warm. This is hard. I'm out of breath. Before jumping in the pool, Coach Penny asked the kids to do warm-up exercises and some light stretching. Gently working your muscles before being active can help prevent injury. Martin and Yuli missed the last practice, so they are doing some extra warm-ups. Four, five, six... Your body reach, reacts in different ways when your muscles are working hard. You might breathe heavily and feel your heart beat faster. You can also sweat, get thirsty, or just feel great. Jump in. You're doing great, Sally. Go, Sally. Come on, Sally. It is time to swim. Pedro starts team starts the team off with their favorite stroke the front crawl coach penny looks at the clock ready set go everybody swims their best go flying short sharks sally is disappointed that she came in last but it it, it helped a lot when she heard her teammates cheering her on i can do that After the race, Sally worries that she will let the team down at tomorrow's meet. She knows she can do better. I have, a, I have good reach with my arms, but I'll need to kick harder, says Sally. Then I'll go faster. Good idea, says Pedro. Improving my kick really helped me. Coach Penny helps when the team needs it, but it's also good for Sally to figure out solutions herself by understanding that she's good Understanding what she's good at and where she can improve. It's playtime. 
That was a hard practice. Everybody is tired, but the flying sharks always finish with some stretching and a free swim to cool down. It's time to play. When the ball hits the water, all of a sudden, the five friends get a second wind. Finding a sport or activity to enjoy with friends is a great way to make sure you take part and stay active. Their friends always have fun dur during free swim. If your body is active and feeling good, your mind will feel good too. I'm glad you're here on the team, Yuli. Team huddle. After drying off, everybody is ready for snack time, but Pedro isn't hungry. He's nervous about tomorrow. Yuli knows what makes her feel better. So she gathers the team together for a group hug. There are, there are things you can do if you feel anxious or sad. Talking to your teacher or parents, taking deep breaths, having quiet time, or asking for a hug can help you feel better. And you can help your friends feel better too. Wash up. one on the team wants to get sick before the big meet so the friends have been washing their hands regularly with soap and water hand washing helps to stop the spread of bad germs that can make you sick germs are so tiny that you can only see them with a microscope coughing on into your elbow and staying away from others when you're sick or when they are are two other ways to keep bad germs from spreading Time to refuel. I brought oranges and yogurt. I brought pita and cheese. Now everybody is hungry. After using up all of that energy in the pool, the kids need to refuel their minds and bodies. The kids need to to the kids need fuel to keep their minds and bodies working well. Eating a variety of foods from the five food groups and and drinking lots of water will help you feel and think your best. Eating a wide range of healthy foods is one of the best things you can do for your body. What are your favorite foods? Body and brain. Yes, this is a cool diagram. Everybody looks the same on the inside. We all have bones, muscles, organs, and a whole lot more. In this picture, can you see where your brain is or the muscles in your legs? While you sleep, your body is working, digesting last night's dinner or repairing a bruised muscle. And your mind is working through problems and processing the day's events. Our bodies are amazing. Nick's shoulder is sore from practice. He hopes it will feel better after a little more stretching and a good night's sleep. Okay. So there's the brain, here's the lungs, that's where we breathe in. Our heart, so kind of on the inside of the lungs. Okay, our bones, and then the muscles are actually on top of the bones. So this is showing you there's bones on both arms and there's muscles on top of both arms and legs. The liver is down over here under the lungs, the stomach under the lungs. The kidney, the small, like a kidney bean, um, the small intestine, and the large intestine, the bladder, and then again, the bones that are in our feet and our legs, and the muscles. See it, do it. The friends dash off to the community center to see what Coach Penny is planning. And surprise, it's a real Olympic swimmer at practice. The kids watch as she does deep breathing exercises before she dives in the pool. Coach explains that deep breathing has a calming effect on the body. If the five friends do this before their races tomorrow, it will help them focus and give them energy. If you imagine winning a race or re or reaching sorry if you imagine winning a race or reaching a goal it can often help you do it this is called visualization it 
It's the big day. Looks like the swim meet is about to get started. The next day at the swim meet, everybody is feeling great. Even Nick's shoulder feels better. The team's hard work has paid off. Look at the swimmers go. Sally is happy because she swam her personal best. Let's play. Get outside with your friends and play for 60 to 90 minutes every day, and you'll feel great from head to toe. Here are a few ideas. Bear walk. This is great for any age. Players walk around on all fours, hands and feet on the ground. See who can go the fastest or growl the loudest. <laughs> Splash. With chalk, draw two lines on the pavement to represent a river. Vary the width so that sometimes it's almost touching and other times it's 1.2 meters or four feet apart at most. Players take turns jumping the river. Use chalk to mark where you landed. Helicopter. Helicopter is a skipping game everybody can play together. Hold one handle of a skipping rope and ask everyone to form a circle around you. Then line the rope on the ground and spin it in a circle. Each player jumps over the rope as it goes by. Remember to take turns spinning the rope. Words to know. Being active. To keep a body moving, helping the brain, heart, lungs, muscles, and bones stay strong. Coach. Someone who instructs and trains. A swimming coach can help prepare swimmers for an upcoming meet. Deep breathing. The technique of taking deep breaths to reduce anxiety or stress. Taking deep, slow breaths can help an athlete to focus and stay calm. Fuel. A source of energy. Bodies need fuel. Healthy food. And water. To work their best. Germ, an organism so small it can't be seen without a microscope. Germs can cause disease and infection. Washing hands with soap and water can stop germs from spreading. Personal best, the best time or score an athlete has ever achieved. Sports equipment, items used in sports for safety or to improve performance. Many sports require equipment like goggles for swimming or shin pads for soccer. Team huddle, when a team gathers together in a tight circle to plan, encourage, or celebrate. Visualization, the act of picturing yourself reaching a goal. In sports, it can help prepare an athlete to cross that finish line. Warm up, to gently stretch and work muscles to prepare the body before being active. This is a good way to avoid injury.